Good morning, my little bit of chips. How you doing? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shock, and we've got an EDC video, and it's sort of. I want to talk about my EDC in general. This year, I've sort of been up and down and changed about what I'm carrying. We have silly laws over here, as you know, so it's got to be a blade that's under three inches, cutting edge, um, and that's it. That's all you can carry. So. I, <sighs> You have to be quite adaptable over here. And and to be honest with you, I've been, because of COVID, and I've been able to carry all my big knives here all through the winter. And during the summer, I was down the caravan so I could carry any knife I wanted down there, you know, reasonably, without scaring somebody. But I've been able to carry the big knives. And then I love a secondary knife. I always have. And this year I've really got into my GECs and collecting my higher end um, slip joints. And I'm really enjoying them. So sort of what I'm missing is when I go out up here, I have to take my big knife out of my pocket. And I was just doing that. I was taking the big knife out and just going out with a slip joint. And that was okay. Uh, you know, a slip joint will do me for any of my tasks, especially outside. Uh, a slip joint's all right to use. But I was missing the big knife. And this year sort of proved to me that I do like a big knife and a secondary knife. For no other reason than I just like having that security in my pocket that I have. Something that will cope with anything that's a bit bigger than the norm. It's never happened. <laughs> but in my head, that's what I need. So... My EDC has changed a bit and I've changed what I'm carrying, when I'm carrying. And I think I just wanted to do that and give you a little update about what it is. This is my keys, the three things that I would have on my keys. You can see by the state of them, they're never off my keys. Uh, and they're just good, so I just keep them there. This is a wee uh, Olight iOS or whatever it's called. A little tiny flashlight, got about 100 lumens, rechargeable. Absolutely brilliant little light. Absolutely brilliant. This is a little petrol lighter. I've showed it on numerous occasions. It's just, I don't know where I got it. Oh, true something, true, true utility. Um, it's brilliant. It seals and it keeps the petrol in it for months. This is a little pen. It's just one of those. It's a magnetic pen. Got a wee extractable end there. And I use this. I've been caught short lots of times. So I just use that. And that's my, that's my key ring. That's the only things that I keep on there that have anything to do with EDC. Watches, I'm not a watch person. Nick told me in the beginning, don't get into watches, so I definitely haven't. This is a little Casio. I think it cost me £10 on, I don't even know where I bought it, AliExpress or Amazon. I haven't a clue. I've had it for quite a while now. It's just a great wee watch. It's simple. I can see it without my glasses on, which is very important for your EDC. And uh, it's just a, a reliable little watch, to be honest with you. Does it keep perfect time? Probably not. But hey, I, it doesn't bother me. It's enough. I have a, have a lovely rotary watch, which was my father's, that I'll wear for special occasions. But most of the time, I'm going to have this on my arm. Now, this gets on to wallets. And I'm, I'm doing this two wallets here. This is what I carried for years. This is the Das Offenmere. Um, and this was my, I bought this because it was a front pocket wallet. You can see how thin it is. Um, but like all wallets, you start off with just a couple of cards, which is what I always done. And then you start to fill them up. And it was becoming a pain in my front pocket because it was taking up quite a bit of room. But a brilliant wallet. And I still will use it. It's absolutely brilliant. But it goes in my back pocket now when I do use it because I have more cards in it. This is the one I just got uh, about a week ago. It's from Dark Arts Leather. Uh, over here in the UK, um, I've put his, his name down below in the last video, I think, which, by the way, I wish if you if you get a chance, go to the previous video. There's a, a charity raffle. It's five dollars to enter and you get a chance to win a Medford or a GEC. There's two knives in the giveaway. When are you going to get a chance to win a Medford for $5? There's about 30 people in it so far. You can enter as many times as you like, but you've plenty of the options. I mean, there's a really good chance of winning one. So if you pop back to that video, have a look at it. Please have a look and listen to the story about why we're doing it. It's for a cancer charity for Jason Guilfoyle uh, in memory of his father. So there you go. Right, the wallet. Look, 
this came from Dark Arts Leather. He's over here in the UK. Um, I'm going to be doing a full review on this wallet after carrying it. Look, I've been carrying You can see already. I've been carrying This is a front pocket wallet. And the DAS often mirrors by no means a big wallet. But look at the difference in size. This goes into my front pocket. And look at the room I'm saving. I just absolutely love it. Best wallet I've ever had, I think. I have a couple of cards. Got my money in it. I've got a plaster in the back for when I cut myself. That's all I need in a wallet. I don't need any more than that to put in my wallet. So I'm really, really happy with that. That's a big change. Um, I also carry a Leatherman if I'm down around the caravan or I'm working about the house. This is an old Leatherman Pulse, which is just an amazing tool. I absolutely love this. It's all locking. Uh, every tool in it locks, which is just great. Um original sheets about 20 year old but it just works and works the diamond file is getting a bit bare now because i've actually filed my own teeth when i broke my teeth I, i've used it to file them down brilliant filing this i've sharpened knives on this Every, i've done a video sharpening a knife on the the diamond file on this which was really quite amazing how quickly it sharpened up a knife but i wouldn't do it regularly because it ruins the diamonds so there you go that's my the outside stuff then I show, oh, here's another one. Here's another thing that I will carry now, which I've never done before, especially around the house, down the caravan. This is just a beautiful little knife. These knives sent me this beautiful, tiny little knife, as you can see in my hand there. I can get about four fingers, but I need that paracord just to clinch on in the end. Small little blade, about just over two inches of cutting edge. Just a great little fixed blade, and I love carrying it and using it. Now, let's get on to the knives. Let's get on to the knives. Well, let's start in pockets. We'll do it pocket-wise. In my front left pocket, I carry every single day in life my little Leatherman squirt, which is an amazing little tool. I love it for the tiny pliers. They've got me out of a jam. I don't know how many times. Never used a knife on it, but the other tools I have, there's a pair of scissors. I have carried this for years upon years. I had this when I was bushcrafting. It's actually not marked up that much because it's in my pocket of the wee dangler. It sits in my front pocket beside this. It's the Three Night uh, TI3. It's a AAA battery. Absolutely. And I love having the option of a rechargeable and a, a battery operated one with batteries that are easy to get just in case. You never know. When it hits the fan, you have to be prepared. <laughs> so them two are in my front left pocket and my wallet is in with them so that's that pocket sort of taken up I don't put anything else in there really maybe change if I've got coinage I'll throw it in there because in my front right pocket I will have usually a, a slip joint in a leather case and now I've decided that I was talking about the big knives I started now carrying my modern traditionals, the bigger knives. This is my hinder. I'm back to carrying this again on a regular basis. This was in my pocket today. This was in my pocket today. Um, this I love, as you know. And look, I have got such a good, a lovely collection now of GEC knives, which I just love. But I'm using them, um, which is the nice thing. N nearly, well... When I say use them, I take them out and I carry them a lot. Um, to be honest, now that I've taken my big knife out, this is the one I take out to cut with. Now, this is legal. These ones that I'm going to show you now are legal knives that I can carry openly in the UK. And when I say openly, I don't mean I, I run about flicking them open. I just carry them in my right-hand pocket. And if I need to take them out, if I'm... In a shop or something, out will come the traditional. I'll cut whatever tag off or whatever I'm going to use. That's what I use. But this is always there now. Because I've got used to carrying a bigger knife during COVID, I just miss it when I'm out. So i am decided, why miss? So I'll carry a, a pen knife. But here's some of the ones that I got this year. This is another, this is a quiet carry. It's another UK modern pen knife. And it's got a clip. And all these knives have got the one thing in common. They have a little clip. This is another one that I actually love. The Luna. Lovely little deep carry pocket clip. Not a huge knife. But do you know what I mean? It'll cut. It'll do anything I need to do. Um, I 
I've started carrying this again, which is the Spyderco um, S110V. Just an absolutely beautiful full four finger S110V. Absolutely, I've had it for years, but I've really started carrying it again. And my favourite one of the lot, but you have to adapt the blade. You have to extend the choil because it's just a little bit over three inches. But this is just a dream. And this looks massive on here. But in reality, there you go. There's a UK pen knife. There's not that much difference in size. Not that much. <laughs> but it just looks big. By the way, as long as it's legal, that's okay. And it's got a clip on it. This carries better than all them other knives. Would you believe that? This goes into the pocket. Oh, that's such a hard break. I love this knife. Listen to that thump. This goes into the pocket and it's just perfect. It is so nice in the pocket. Putting your hand in past this is the easiest of all the knives I've got. The best carry that I've got in a bigger knife. So that's what I'm tempting to carry more of. Is a bigger knife with my little pen knife, if you like. So... The other thing that I that I carry a lot of is bigger lights and at, at night time during the, the, the day you know this or the one on my key ring does me for anything I'm going to need a light for during the day to get behind a cabinet or whatever but at night time if I'm out with the dogs or I'm walking around the caravan park there's no lighting around the caravan park so I do have a selection I do like my pen lights Pete over at Jersey Net I was talking about the pen and, and torches to me, torches are the most, you can't replicate light in any other way other than lighting a fire in the dark. So you're stuck if you haven't got it. So I like being prepared for any eventuality. I know that's silly, but here's just three. And I've chosen three different brands and they're all brands that have sent me knives to review. This is an Olight, the Baton uh, Pro. This is the Sofren. This is the newest one. I haven't done a review on this yet, but it's coming shortly. This is the SC31 Pro. And this is the Through Night TT20. Look, they all throw out a stupid amount of lumens. They're just stupid amount of lumens. They're all good. They're, this is the smallest, middle and large. Now, this throws out more lumens than the Olight. But there are three really good flashlights. And I just love having that choice. This is a great one because it gives you an indication all the time that you've got charge and it lets you see it in the dark. Every flashlight should have that facility on it without a doubt. It is just, to me, it's so important. I keep this by my bed at night now because I can see where it is straight away. It sits in my bed. I can pick it up. I want to go to the toilet. don't want to wake Sally up. So, amazing three lights. There's a review coming in. I've already reviewed these, and I don't change my review. They're both smashing flashlights. I'm hoping this is going to live up to these two. Three night, no light are my two favourite. I've never tried Sofrin, but so far, and having that is amazing. So, that's my flashlights. So, you know, just to finish it all up, I'm now back to carrying two pocket knives again. I have my little GEC or another brand of flesh and it could be, look, I have drawers full. I keep showing these off and it's not for the sake. I just want people to, like, there's drawers full of knives. There's more. That's full of pocket knives. Absolutely stuffed to the gills. I have drawers above here. Another one, two, three drawers with, you know, pocket knives in them. All slip joints. So I've got such a selection. And that's why I'm probably using my GECs more because I appreciate just how good they are. And if I am stuck outside, I've got a really good knife with me. So, there you go. That's my, oh, here. And on my head, I have my Great Eastern Cutlery, my Great Eastern Cutlery uh, cap, which I absolutely love. So there you go. I think that's me covered absolutely everything I can cover you. But I think the important thing for me is I, I, you know, I am a knife guy. I just like having two knives on me. Um, and if you include the little ones that, you know, that I have on my squirt, that I have on, you know, I could have three knives on me at any one time. And I'm happy doing that. And I think that's when I get into the new year. I'm glad. I'm going to maybe, 
uh, invest in a couple of more. Um, I seen a Civivi slip joint that I really like. I think that's what I'm maybe going to go for in the new year, and add that to the collection so I can change up my carry outside. I get bored if I carry the same knife too often. Um, so much like my pocket knives, I really need to up my game on the larger slip joints for the collection so that I have two knives that I can pair up. So there you go. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for watching. Sorry this went on a wee bit, but I just felt that I wanted to tell you the change and why I was changing. And uh, I was going back to carrying two knives again. And when I go out now, I don't have to take this out of the way and just have this. I can have both. Down the caravan, I change over and use my locking knives and the pen knife. There you go. Paddy's gone. Have a wonderful... Please go back and check that wee video it's directly behind this one. Just check it and enter $5 for a Medford. You're not going to get better than that. God bless you all. I'm away. Take care. Cup of tea time.